I realize there's probably not a massive need for covered wagons anymore, especially a miniature covered wagon, but my daughter had a school project. She had a fourth grade school project where they were uh, they needed to, to build a shoe size box, shoe size, yeah, a, a covered wagon about the size of a shoe box. And um, they were going to run obstacle courses and go through all sorts of challenges. It was going to get wet. So we wanted something that was, you know, pretty strong, looked cool, kind of authentic. So instead of doing it out of a, a shoebox or something else, we decided to use our awesome little machine from Inventables and carve out a bit of this. So, you know, some of it was for style, well, actually most of it was for stylized, um, you know, just to look really cool. So, you know, we have cotton engraved on the back. That was the, the family that, uh, you know, the, the fictitious family that she was, she was building this for. Um, you know, we carved out the sides of this to make it look a little bit more of an authentic wagon, covered out the, or cut out the wagon wheels. And then the rest is just cut out to regular size, you know, just with a chop saw. So there's really four wheels, two sides, and a back that uh, that I used. I actually did use the the inside of. Let's just isolate this for just a minute, um, and you'll notice that the inside of this is also carved out to put the the bottom in and not have it uh, slide in or out. So it just kind of holds everything in nice and tight. Um, you know, if I ha would have had various machines, I could have maybe done this a little faster but uh, I cut out the back side of this with my Shiboko machine as well. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of the gist of the machine, or not the machine, the, the, the design here. Kind of a fun little project. My daughter helped me do some of the design work and then she assembled most of it with uh, an air gun, g wood glue, and uh, you know, just, just some, some fun times. So anyway, I'll go through, the next video we'll go through kind of the design aspect, how I designed it. Uh, how you can modify it if you want to modify it and then we'll get into the cam operations and assembling the whole thing so with that hopefully you'll enjoy